Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a bunch of empties to go over with you. There is a lot of stuff in here so I don't want to chit chat for too long so I'm just going to dive right in. Now some of these I melted a while ago, like I'm not one to kind of do like a weekly empty or like a monthly empty. I kind of just save the wrappers until I feel like I have enough to make a video. So whether that be two months or whether that be two weeks. Um, it's kind of what it is, but most of these I've melted before or I remember for the most part. So I think we're good, but I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I have this random one. It's just a blank um, wrapper from Wa Wa Waxy Taffy, and I just put it in here so I can remember to talk about it. This is the gooey strawberry bread, and it was really, really good, and it was really strong too. So I think it's like marshmallow strawberry and zucchini bread really really nice strawberry scent um it went really well with the zucchini obviously she has a really nice creamy strong zucchini bread scent the strawberry was not like a strawberry jam scent i think it was more like a fresh picked strawberry but there's no greenery note to it i know we kind of all some people get that note some people don't um i did not get a greenery note because i don't like that scent of strawberry um, it was good. It was beautiful while it was melting because she puts Mika or Mica Glitter, I don't know how to pronounce it, one of the two in her wax, and it was really nice. All right, the next one that I have here is from Rainbow Melts, Brickle Cookie Crispy. Now, this one I still believe to this day um, is not Butter Brickle. I think it is the oh no what's it called i'm pretty sure she got the label mixed up this one's more of like a cinnamony one and not like butter brickle and then the other one that i melted smelled like butter brickle and it wasn't i think it was like amish no not amish friendship bread it was something um but yeah this doesn't smell like butter brickle to me it's still a really sweet um rice krispie treat scent and it was still really strong but i don't think it smells like butter brickle it's too cinnamony if you know what I mean. Okay, from L3, I did Beach Nights Vanilla O. I'm pretty sure this is oak. And um, this was my first Beach Night scent. And I really, really like it a lot. This was the first one that I melted in terms of Beach Night. I don't know what vanilla oak is supposed to smell like. But this one definitely has a more masculine cologne scent to it than like a normal just plain Beach Nights. And I know L3 Beach Nights is um, Salty Sea Air... Um, s'mores and something or I think it might just be salty sea air and s'mores but this one definitely has a more masculine scent to it I would definitely repurchase it I really liked it and it was really strong I did it in the bedroom in my 25 watt light bulb warmer okay from up the creek scents I did pink zucchini noel pink sugar zucchini bread vanilla bean noel I've melted this a bunch of times before I really like this scent I love pink sugar zucchini bread scents I can still smell it in here, and I actually finished this a while ago. It's super strong. I love Up the Creek. Um, Up the Creek pretty much works in whatever warmer I put it in, so that's also a plus. From Midnight Daydream, I did Salted Caramel Waffle Cone. I don't know why it's not coming up. There we go. And again, I did this one a little while ago, but it's really, really good. Um, it's a really nice, strong, creamy, sticky salted caramel scent. Um, I don't get much waffle cone, but I did melt this not too long after I received it. So I probably could have let it cure a little bit longer and maybe the waffle cone would have came out more, but I get impatient sometimes with new wax. So. From Vintage Road Candles, this was a full garden bar. I think they're about three and a half ounces, three ounces. And this is strawberry, vanilla, pineapple, and coconut. And this one was okay. I don't think I'd repurchase it just because I got like a weird kind of undertone while it was melting. I did go ahead and finish the whole bar. Um, but I don't think it's something that I would repurchase. I do like the strawberry scent and the coconut scent that's in here. I think it's maybe the pineapple that was kind of throwing it off a little bit. I do like pineapple, but I don't love it. So I kind of just wanted to get rid of it. From Rose Girls, Blackberry Coconut Vanilla Crunch Donuts. And I got this one in one of the samplers I probably got last year. I love this blackberry scent. It smells a lot like the blackberry and jackal from Super Tarts. And I didn't get much coconut, but I did get vanilla crunch donuts. Really, really strong. I'm pretty sure there was two chunks in here. And uh, I do all of my Rose Girls in my 24-watt Ashland warmer. 
amazing every single time. From Kate Scented Melts, I did Birthday Cake. There we go. And this was just three little egg shapes. Like, they're really teeny tiny. I don't even think it equaled an ounce. So, the first time I did it, I did two eggs. And it was still a decent throw. I just did it in the bedroom. And it's just a really nice, sweet cake scent. And then I did another little egg that's probably not even half an ounce and I mixed it with espresso and the espresso is so strong even though I did even less than like half a cent shot it was like not even really a quarter of a cent shot <laughs> now that I think about it um, but it was really really nice and I mixed it with this but the espresso completely drowned it out so but for the first time that I melted it it was really nice okay the next thing that I did is cider donuts from Tiffany Candles now this label was so fine. Um, I got this one from my mom not too long ago and I kept it. This is really good and now I'm kind of glad that I did this one because now I can remember that the yellow pumpkins are cider donut and cider donuts is really good. I liked it a lot. It was decently strong. I'd give it like a six or a seven out of a 10. Her cider scent is really, really good and you definitely get like a warm bakery note to it, which is the donuts and I would probably repurchase that one. From Rose Girls, Strawberry Serendipity Vanilla Crunch Donuts. Now, I was kind of hoarding this one for a while, um, but now I can, for the most part, make it myself. I can mix, like, Strawberry Jam, Serendipity, and Vanilla Crunch Donuts. And I love Strawberry Serendipity scents, and the Vanilla Crunch Donuts even made it, like, even better. I loved this. I wish it was just a little bit stronger. Um, the next time I do this and I make it myself, I'm probably just going to put the three mini melters on one side and then another three mini melters of the same scents on the other side um, because I do have an open floor plan and you just need really strong wax in order to get it in both of the rooms. So I think that's what I'm going to do next time, but it was fine. I mean, it wasn't that I couldn't smell it at all. It was just a little bit weak. From Tiffany's, now known as Scarlet Rose, I did Zucchini Bread. This was a three-pack. I don't think she does these anymore. I'm not really sure. I haven't been on the website in a while. Um, this is your average Zucchini Bread scent. Really good, really strong. From A Crafty Barista, Hayride, Leafy Greens, Warm Hay, and Forest Fern, <laughs> Sun Drenched Woods, and a Hint of Citrus. I didn't get any citrus in this. Um, to me, this smells mostly like leaves and a little bit of like a cologne masculine scent i love this this would be really good with like a macintosh apple or like a apple cider um i would absolutely get this one again i hope she restocks it this fall or somewhat soon because this was amazing i got this last april or no not last april last august and it was super strong amazing i loved it I was able to get three melts out of this one leaf, and I would say the leaf is probably like two and a half ounces if I had to guess. So that was amazing. I finished a bag from Candles from the Keeping Room and Jelly Filled Zucchini Donuts. This is one of my all-time favorites from Candles from the Keeping Room. I'm sure I've talked about it before. Um, her jelly donut scent is so good. <sighs> I love it so much. I would absolutely repurchase that one 10 out of 10 every single time. Uh, from Tiffany's Strawberry Jam. This was another three pack. I love her Strawberry Jam scent. It kind of reminds me of Strawberry Passion from Candles from the Keeping Room. And let me see here. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of Strawberry Passion. It's not exactly, but it's very similar. She just has like a really different kind of sweetness to her strawberry that not a lot of vendors carry. It must be the oil, obviously, that she uses. And definitely a 10 out of 10 for scent throw. I like mixing that one, but it's really good on its own as well. From Midnight Daydream, Country Style French Toast. And if I remember correctly, this one was a little bit heavy on the cinnamon. Yeah, a tiny, tiny bit. It wasn't overpowering by any means, but French Toast, obviously, cinnamon. Um, but it's definitely not like an overpowering cinnamon, red hot, you know, cinnamon sticks. But it was really good. You only need one cube of these, and that's exactly what he sends in his sample bag. So there's just one cube in here, which I believe is half an ounce or maybe an ounce. I don't think it's even an ounce, uh, but it was really strong. All right, from Up the Creek, Coconut Frosted Zucchini. I actually finished this one today, 
And I like coconut frosted zucchini. I've melted it numerous times before. It always gives me a really good scent throw. Um, but I think I'm kind of just over this scent. I think I just outdid it. Um, and I'm kind of just over it now, but it was still fine. All right, from Rose Girls. This was a bunch of mini melters that I put into one bag that I was running low on because I like to combine these anyway. So Switchel Cookin, Apple, Absolute Coffee, and Monster Cookie. And I love this combination. It is so good. The Strusel Kutchen, Cookin, however you want to say it, is a very sweet cinnamon bakery scent. Absolute Coffee is obviously a very strong coffee scent. And then Monster Cookie is a sugar cookie, sugar cookie scent, right? Or is it? Oh no, Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs is a sugar cookie whatever scent and then Marshmallow Smoothie. Okay, so it's like a sugar cookie scent and these are amazing together. I would definitely repurchase all three. I'm pretty sure I have and I still have many melter bags of all of those. <laughs> okay, from uh, Satin Susie Scents, I got a sample in Celtic Coffee and I loved this. This is a pretty strong cinnamon coffee scent. When I first got this, I thought it was going to be too overpowering and I figured I could melt it with like a marshmallow or something, but I put it in by itself just because I wanted to see how it would do and it was amazing. This is the same size as the squares that Midnight Daydream gives to you as samples and I put that in there. Amazing. It was so strong. I put in the 25 or 24 watt Ashlyn Warmer. Threw me out of the room. It was so good and if all of her stuff throws like this, I will definitely be buying again and I definitely want more of that scent. <laughs> Alright, from a crafty barista pumpkin cannoli, creamy pumpkin cannolis with just a hint of spice. And this one actually wasn't that strong. I don't think I'd repurchase this one. I don't really remember smelling much of anything besides a little bit of like a spicy marshmallow scent. Um so yeah that one's also from last August but it wasn't very strong. From K's, this is the espresso. I just talked about this. Very, very strong. I first cut this in half and used half. And then half was honestly too much. And I ended up cutting it into like fourths after that. So that's what I used. That's absolutely all you need. I use K's in every single one of my warmers. And it works great in every single one. I love espresso. I've repurchased it already. And I would definitely get more of it. From Midnight Daydream, Vanilla Bean Noel Coffee Milkshake at Tiffany's. Coffee Milkshake with a Vanilla Bean Noel Whip and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This one was amazing. As soon as I threw it into the warmer, it started throwing. It's so good. Such a creamy yet like really strong coffee scent. And then you get the underlying notes of Cupcakes at Tiffany's. It wasn't the standout scent. And then you definitely get the Vanilla Bean Noel. Amazing. Definitely would repurchase that one too. Really, really strong. Okay, from Hayden Rowe, I did coconut, and I really like her coconut scent. It's kind of leaning more towards the perfumey coconut, <clears throat> especially when it's melting. It's kind of like the best of both worlds, though. Like, you get a little bit of the perfumey note, but then you get also that really sweet note to it. So it's kind of like she has both of them in one. And this one was a decently strong thrower. I think I'm going to try a different couple warmers out for Hayden Rowe. Um, I did it in my 24 watt Ashlyn warmer. A lot of people said that they liked that warmer for her wax. It was fine. It was like a six out of the ten. Um, I don't know if maybe something else that I was have I had melting that day was just overpowering to this because a lot of people said that her wax is like the strongest thing ever and blah blah blah. Um, I haven't tried enough to figure that out yet, but this one was just meh to me. Um, if I can get it to throw really strong, I would repurchase it. But as of right now, I would not repurchase it. Although it is a very nice scent. All right, from Candles from the Keeping Room, I did Strawberry Cookie. This one was okay. Um, it wasn't that strong. In the bag, it didn't smell that strong either. Um, I think it just might be one of her lighter scents. I'm not really sure. Um, as of right now, I would not repurchase that one. From A Crafted Barista, Strong Cup of Joe. I loved this one. This is like straight out of the pot, black, strong coffee. Absolutely amazing. I would definitely repurchase that one. From Up the Creek Cut Scents, Coconut Cream Pie Peeps. And her coconut scent, I think she has a couple different ones. Um, the first one that I showed you was more of like that perfumey coconut. This one was definitely a lot sweeter. 
a lot more like of a bakery coconut and it definitely wasn't as strong i'd probably get this like a six out of ten if it was a little bit stronger i'd consider rebuying it but i have so much up the creek and so much coconut i don't need any more coconut scents <laughs> from Midnight Daydream or Amish Caramel Latte Bread. I've talked about this before. One of my all-time favorites from him. So strong, so bakery, cinnamon sweet coffee bread. Like it's so good. I would get so much more of that one. <laughs> okay, from Simo Wax Melt Unicorn Farts. I don't remember exactly what's in this, but it's really good. It's definitely fruity creamy something I wish I knew what was in here it kind of reminds me of strawberry a little bit I feel like I had I figured it out when it was melting and now I can't remember exactly what it was but it's really good I definitely repurchased that one too from Midnight Daydream Central Perk zucchini bread caramel latte and vanilla bean noel so another really amazing latte bread scent I don't know which one I like more. I don't know if I like the Amish one better or if I like this one better. They're both amazing and they're both really strong throwers. I have a lot of Midnight Daydream. <laughs> coconut shortbread claws, coconut shortbread cookies, and bear claws. Love his coconut, love his bear claws. I think he might have my all-time favorite bear claw scent. This is so good. So strong, in your face, will knock you out of the room over one little scent shot. I love this one. Again, I would definitely repurchase it. Then I have Pivot, which is Bear Claw, Sugar Milk, and Sweet Bread Dough. I try to melt his Bear Claw scent like every day. <laughs> I have so many different blends of his Bear Claws. So this is more like just regular Bear Claws. You definitely get Sugar Milk and like Sugar Cookie Dough. Um, but the Bear Claws is definitely the most dominant and it stood out the most while it was melting. Again, 10 out of 10. And then I melted We Were On A Break, Sweet Strawberry Jam, White Cake, Sugar Cookie Bakery, and Waffle Cone Crunch. Now, I melted this one today, and I really didn't get much of anything, which is so crazy to me, because his last strawberry scent was so strong. And this was poured March 30th, so it should be fine. And it smells amazing in the cup, but I just didn't get a strong throw. But I will say that I had something else melting out here that was insanely strong. So I think it might have just overpowered it a little bit. When I was standing directly where the warmer was, I could smell it. But beyond that, I couldn't smell anything. So I don't know if it was that or if it was just the other scent that was really strong kind of overpowered it. Okay, from Woof Wix, I did Coffee at the Apple Orchard. I love this scent. It's so good. Coffee and Macintosh Apple. That is what this is. That is what you're going to get. It is so strong and amazing. I would get a lot more of that one too. Okay, um, Amish Cinnamon Frosted Pretzel, Amish Cinnamon Bread, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Soft Pretzel. I actually have this going right now. It is so strong and amazing. I actually cut it in half and I did half on one side and half on the other and I mixed it with Sticky Paws from... Um, Woof Wicks, and it's so good. It smells so good in here, you guys. Um, the Midnight Daydream is definitely overpowering it a little bit because Sticky Paws is more of like a very mellow bakery scent, and that one has like boom in your face pretzel scent and cinnamon scent, but it's still really good together. Okay, Midnight Daydream Churro Donuts at Tiffany's. This one was really good too. I love his churro scent. It's a little bit like Bear Claws, but it's not exactly the same, obviously. Oh my god, this is so sweet. I love this. I think his churro scent is my second favorite scent of his. It's so good. It's so sweet. It's so comforting and so bakery. I love it. Okay, so this is not technically an empty, but I'm tossing it after this, so I'm going to show it to you anyway. This is from Super Tarts Butter Pecan Ice Cream Macchiato, and this was like a little, I don't know, some bakery shape. It's like a cookie shape. And I did half of it in the bedroom. Now, her wax works amazing for me in my 25 watt uh, light bulb warmer. And it threw very, very well, but it legit smells like buttered popcorn, like salt and all. Um, I did get this last year during like a summer special. So it is approaching a year. I don't know how have, if that has something to do with it that changed the scent of it because it does not smell like, car like caramel or a macchiato or buttered pecan or like anything. It legit smells like buttered popcorn and I did not like it at all even though it was very strong. Um, so I will be tossing it after this. 
Okay, from Woofwix Smoky Paws Coffee Shop. One of my favorites so far from Woofwix that I've melted. It is so strong and so good. So this is her Tobacco Caramel Vanilla Bean Noel <clears throat> scent with um, coffee. It is so good. This went directly into the bedroom and I let it melt for as long as I possibly could because I don't have any more of this scent. I do have other coffee scents and I do have Smoky Paws, but I don't have Smoky Paws Coffee Shop. Um, and I'm trying to recreate it because I was not able to get it on the last restock. Um, but I need more. I need so much more. Uh, 10 out of 10 for scent throw as well. From that small good shop, Butter Cookie, I threw this into the bedroom just because it's been there for a while. I wanted to just use it up. This surprised the crap out of me. This is an amazing sugar cookie scent. And it threw and threw and threw and threw forever. Like, I put it in... Um, I know I put it in when I got out of work, so around 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I woke up, it was still throwing, I came back from work um, around 3, I would say 3.30 that day, and it was still throwing in my 25 watt light bulb warmer. That small good shop works in pretty much any warmer for me, um, but that lasted like literally forever, and I would definitely buy that one again, because that one was very surprising. Okay, from Wolf Wicks, I did a coffee cider, which is coffee and apple cider. I did this one yesterday. So good. <laughs> I love this scent. Now, believe it or not, I got more of the apple cider than I did coffee. I did get a little bit of coffee, but I wish it was a little bit heavier on the coffee. Uh, but it was so really good, and I would give it like a 9 out of 10 for scent throw. All right, from Midnight Daydream Bear Claw Zucchini, I've talked about this numerous times. I don't need to go over it again just an amazing bakery scent. And then I did Strawberry Cotton Candy Twinkies. I love this one. I would definitely repurchase it. 10 out of 10 percent throw. It's definitely Strawberry Jam and Cotton Candy. I don't smell anything else besides those two, but I love Strawberry Cotton Candy scents. I think it's a really good blend. He blended it very well. From K's, I'm doing this one right now in the bedroom, but Pumpkin Caramel Crunch in my 25 watt light bulb. K's, like I said, works about like in any warmer for me. I love this one. It kind of smells like pumpkin caramel swirl, or no, what's it called? Um, yeah, it's pumpkin caramel swirl, right, from Bath and Body Works. That's what it reminds me of. It's not exactly the same, but it's similar. Very, very strong. It has like a really nice nuttiness to it and caramel and pumpkin. It's amazing, and I would definitely buy more of that one for the fall. From Midnight Daydream, Hazelnut Butter Brickle Cappuccino. Um, I really liked this one a lot. I wish the Butter Brickle came out a little bit more, though. It's definitely not very strong, the Butter Brickle. I smell more cappuccino and hazelnut than anything else. Would I repurchase it? Yeah, because it's a good coffee scent. But would I run to the website the second it was restocked? No, but I do really like it a lot. But if it's there, I would buy it. Okay, last one for Midnight Daydream. <laughs> Sugar Cookie Royal Donut Pretzel. Loved this one. Again, wish it was just a tiny bit stronger because I mostly just get the pretzel note, which is like a fresh baked bread scent, and I got a little bit of sugar cookie, but that was about it. His pretzel scents are very, very overpowering to the rest of the scent that's supposed to be in there. Um, so for the most part, whenever I melt a pretzel scent, I mostly just get pretzel and then like underlying notes of a couple other things. Okay, from K's, I did Strudel and Spice, which is kind of like a bear claw scent, but not as good, <laughs> in my opinion. But this is still really, really amazing. It's definitely cinnamon, but it's not an overpowering, again, like red hot cinnamon. And that's basically what it smells like. It smells like a very sweet cinnamon scent. I loved this. I would definitely get more of it. I'm kind of just throwing things now. Okay, and then the last one that I did is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl from A Crafty Barista. Sweet, smooth caramel swirls with fresh pumpkin with cinnamon and brown sugar. I really liked this one. It was really good. I'm pretty sure I did it in the bedroom. And this is more... See, it's so funny how different these two are from K's and this one, even though they're very similar in scent notes. I do like both of them. I don't really prefer one over the other. I like them both and I would definitely repurchase them again. This one was like a 6 or a 7 out of 10 throw though. Okay, so that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch this whole thing, you're a trooper. 
<laughs> I know I get kind of repetitive when I do melting, you know, you know, warm reviews. So I try not to do them all that often just because I don't want things to get too repetitive, like a million midnight daydream, a million bear claws, a million coffee, you know. Um, but that's it. I'm going to stop rambling now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.